All right, now, if you've been through most of our videos, I know you're probably getting tired of learning to play Do Lord. We learned it in G. We learned a high rate for it, and here I am now again trying to show you how to play it in the key of C. The reason I keep using this song is it's so familiar and it's just so basic. It's a good way to get some of the basics out of the way. So I hope you bear with me through this. Let me play the break that I'm going to show you. <laughs> Okay, keep the words to do, Lord, running through your head as we go through this. We're starting in the C chord with this lick. Listen again, it just speaks the words. Do, Lord, oh. Okay, three, one, three, one. Then five, two, second fret on the third one. That's a square roll. Okay, now, the next roll is just Foggy Mountain Breakdown roll in the key, excuse me, in the C chord, 2 one 2 one 5 2 one 5 Okay, those two together. Now we're going to move to our second position C. You have to know where that is. Fifth frets of the banjo, and we're going to use the Foggy Mountain Breakdown roll with the hammer here. Let's look at that up close so you can see what we're doing here. We're first of all setting up in this position, index finger on the fourth fret of the second and ring finger on the fifth fret of the first. We use that position in Lonesome Road Blues. Okay, now we're going to hammer with this middle finger down to the fifth fret of the second. Playing the first string after it, then hammer again and play the first string after it. Just like we do in Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Then the 5215 is done with just these two fingers down in second position C. We'll be using this lick a lot playing in the key of C, so you want to get it down pat. Now back down to the first position, hit that C note. I'm going to tell you one more time, it's the first fret on the second string. That's an eighth note. Now. As I mentioned earlier, our pinches are not available in the key of C. They do not sound good. So instead of pinches, which is what we would use if we're playing the key of G, we use two forward rolls, five, two, one, five, two, one. And of course that C note is a part of that lick. So there's our first phrase. Second phrase, switch to F chord. Now again, you can cheat and not put your ring finger down. If you have to, I don't recommend it. First lick. All right, it's the same roll we've used all along. Three, one, three, one. Then five, two, three, one. Just a square roll there on the end. Still in F. Changing the roll slightly to two one two one five two three one. Okay, now on the two one two one, you can use uh, index middle thumb middle like we do Foggy Mountain Breakdown. You can use index middle index middle, or sometimes I just use thumb middle thumb middle. A lot of choices there. It doesn't make any difference. You can almost, it's almost impossible to do it wrong. And then do that same lick again. And then we're going to end up that phrase in the C chord on the third string because that's a melody note and put our two forward rolls in for fill. All right, now let's look at that F lick again. To me, it seems like we have three licks in F. One, two, the 
third string.